Hey y'all, so many of you have been asking the question, what is the difference between a venue coordinator and a day of coordinator? Well, keep watching and I will fill you in. Okay guys, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Brett and I am the sales manager here at Hidden Creek. So if you've ever toured with us, I was the one that showed you around because I am also the venue coordinator. So I give tours, I'm here on wedding days, and I am the one that you talk to over email. So I do the venue coordination, I'm the sales manager, and I also offer day of coordination. So let me help you figure out what the difference between all of those titles is. Let's dive right in. So a venue coordinator is gonna be there for the venue, not for you. So they are gonna be there if the ice machine quits working, they are gonna be the one to have that fixed. If the refrigerator door breaks off, they are gonna have that fixed. If it's too hot, too cold, they are gonna make sure that the air temperature is comfortable and be there strictly for the venue. Yes, they care about you. Um, the venue coordinator has been the person that gave you a tour, that has answered all your emails, or all your phone calls. They have worked with you and you have formed a bond. They do care about you, but they are there for the venue. That is their number one concern. They will put an end to your night if it is compromising the venue. Somebody has a sparkler and they're running around the building, yeah, they're gonna cut that off. Your DJ is about to blow up the building with his fog machine, they're gonna cut that off. They are there to protect the venue. So what is the difference between the venue coordinator who does all that stuff and a day of coordinator? Well, the day of coordinator's number one concern is you. They will follow the venue rules they will be respectful, but at the end of the day, they care more about you than the venue. And that's great, that's what they're supposed to do. You are their number one concern, your happiness and your day being amazing is their number one goal. So a day of coordinator is going to coordinate with you and all of your vendors. So when vendors get there, they will tell them where to set up, They'll give them a timeline to run them through the whole day of all the events because you don't want your photographer missing the cake cutting or being like, wait a second, what time is the ceremony? Oh yeah, she's walking down the aisle right now. Like that would not be good. So your day of coordinator is going to provide everyone with the timeline. Your venue coordinator will probably be upstairs in the office answering phone calls and doing emails because again, they're there for the venue. So let's talk a little bit more about a day of coordinator. So here at Hidden Creek, we offer month of coordination because day of coordination really needs to be month of. A coordinator needs to know about a month before your wedding who all your vendors are. Your coordinator needs to be at your rehearsal, practicing with you, your bridesmaids, and your groomsmen, and any family members who are walking down the aisle. You want to rehearse. You want to practice and have everyone know the order that they're walking down the aisle and where their placements are. Your day of coordinator is the one that is responsible for getting you down the aisle in the correct order, making sure you all know where to stand and that everything looks uniform and beautiful. Your coordinator is also going to be the one who helps you with any decor setup. I cannot stress this enough. I get asked all the time by people, as the venue coordinator, will I help them with decor setup? And the answer is no. I'm sorry, as the venue coordinator, I am busy pertaining to the venue. A day of coordinator, again, is there for you. So they are gonna help you with decor setup. Very different. Make sure when you're touring places that you ask them which services they offer. Some places offer one service, some places offer both. 
make sure you ask that question and find out which one they supply. Because if they only supply a venue coordinator, you will need to hire a day of coordinator because trust me, that is gonna be a complete and total lifesaver. I know that you probably have hired all of the best vendors out there. They're great, they're amazing, you trust them, you know they're gonna do a great job. That's wonderful and I'm so happy that you are proud of your vendors and that you picked good ones. But even the best athletes still have coaches. So athletes spend hours and hours and days and weeks and months getting ready for games. And then the day of the game comes and they still have a coach because you still need someone putting all of these teammates and players together to have a great game. That's what your day of coordinator is gonna do for you. They're gonna coach all of your vendors and make sure everyone works together very well. So when you have your grand entrance coming down the staircase, your day of coordinator is gonna cue you. They're also gonna cue your DJ to start the song at the right time. And they're also gonna make, for, make sure your photographer is standing right there to get the picture and that your photographer isn't in the back eating a piece of cake. So make sure that you are paying attention to a venue coordinator versus a day of coordinator. So here at Hidden Creek, we do month of coordination because that coordinator really needs to be a part of that last month leading up to your special day. It's not enough for them to just show up the day of the wedding and say, hey, nice to meet you and give you a timeline when it's the first time that y'all have put together who all the vendors are. They really need to be a part of that rehearsal. Meet your family, meet your bridesmaids, all the groomsmen, talk to them, tell them, say, hey guys, this is what time to be here tomorrow. You know, here's the timeline. Make sure you're on time. Here's my phone number. I always give the bridal party my phone number the day before the wedding, just in case anything happens. I want them to be able to contact me. So you really need to have your coordinator be at the rehearsal and give everyone special instructions and just meeting everyone is really gonna help the day go so much smoother because a coordinator can't just show up the day of the wedding and start planning right there. They're gonna need about a month to email all your vendors, ask each vendor individually and say, how many hours are you hired for? What time are you contracted to come into the venue? And that's how they put together your timeline. Every timeline is not the same. I need to reach out to your photographer and say, are you contracted for six hours, eight hours, 10 hours? And then I'll put together a, time front, a timeline for you because that's gonna play into, do we need to do a first look? What time's the ceremony? What time's the sunset? All this stuff is gonna play into your coordinator putting together a timeline. And all those things take time. So a coordinator really needs about a month to be emailing all your vendors and getting information and getting your contracts to put together a timeline instead of just the day of showing up and being like, oh, you're only contracted for six hours? Whoops, I guess you're leaving before the send off. You know, you wanna have your coordinator be a part of that whole month so that way they can really get all those details put together for you. I really hope this video helped y'all out. That is my main goal. I was planning my wedding by myself. I don't have any sisters and I was the first one of all my friends to get married. So I was kind of just winging it. So I really, really hope that y'all find these videos helpful. And if you do, click the link below so that way you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and get updates every time that we make a new video. We're gonna put out about one a week. That way y'all can get great helpful hints. And then you can also go to our website. I'll put that link down below as well. And you can schedule a tour if you wanna ever wanna come out and check out Hidden Creek for yourself. Thanks.